Whoa. What is all this? Part of the Where mountain. Or mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. Ooh, that'd be a nice shortcut up. Ascend the cave shaft. I don't know how we use it. Probably gonna be a pretty big puzzle. Alright, hold on. Let's get attacked by enemies. Looks like something's supposed to roll on this. Oh look, another one of these locked doors. Jeez. I wonder what that's all about. Also, there's little entrance there. This is locked up good. Mm. Well, that's not going anywhere. We've seen four of these and still no answers. Can you read it? Sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also dwarves. <laughs> Should we add to it? No. <laughs> Yotnar only, and also dwarves. The mountain was a stronghold of the giants in Midgard. After they left, the dwarves mined it dry. Well, they shouldn't have wrote Yotnar only and then left it alone. That didn't do anything either. But, we're probably going to get attacked in here, so it's inevitable that we'll use it. Hmm. Maybe we'll get like a red arrow. Right? We had all these blue crystals, and then we used blue light to just kind of associate with it. So, logic tells me that it might be the same way. Would we have like a fire or dark magic? I think magic? I see how this works. The claw's on one side. And if we get this unstuck... Whoops! Oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> nice try either way. Look. It's my incredible strength that allows me to figure this stuff out. Yeah, we can do that. Hold on. Try to get the stun damage down. There we go. Boy, I'm trying to kill the ones in front of me. All right. Now we can focus up. Oh, you're still alive. Ow. <laughs> I got too excited. I'm like, yeah, I can... I can handle two enemies at once. What about these assholes? How was that? Adequate. Adequate. But only just so. Okay. We have 20,000 XP. And I'm still being very, very stingy with my usage of it. I guess I could throw some points into these, like the Guardian's Fury and Revenge, because that gives me extra attacks for stunning enemies. I just don't want to have like a repertoire of like 20 different attacks that I know I'm only going to use like two of. So I'm being, I'm being aware. There's also the fact that we use XP to level up like other things, like our runic abilities. So if I find, like, a really good runic ability, it'd be good to have. Hmm. What about here? What are my axes? Hex, I always go back to the axe, like, hold on, what am I trying to do here? We can do Leviathan's Fury. Sprinting attack. Sprinting heavy attack. I really need my Axe 4 upgrade. That's going to allow me to spend a lot of my points. Ooh. 
Cool beans. Okay. Come. Why is there a torch in here? Or, you know, like a crystal torch. That I'm just gonna refer to it as torch. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> It seems like a very random spot to have that. Like, they dedicate a whole room. But I guess they did put, like, a chest slash coffin in here, so... The torch was for them. What's up here? Ooh. The machinery in here looks almost warped. But the stonework, that's definitely Yoden. You know, I think the giants not only mined the mountain, but actually lived here. Yeah, until one day they all disappeared and the dwarves moved in for everything. Nope, he can't do anything about that. Shoot. There's all kinds of things that we're gonna have to deal with. Not only the... the red sap, but... All the different roots that have grown out over everything. Am I gonna be top magic? Is the witch going to join us? At random intervals? What the hell? Hey, Brock. You had a way around the Black Breath all along. Now don't go thinking I could have gotten you past it, you big sack of meat. I got ways around most everything, especially up here. Time was, my folk had the run of this joint. Improved the design of the Jotnar traps and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, they remind me. Watch out for traps. I haven't ran into any so far, so we're fine. Oh. So what you find out there? Talent bow upgrade available. Cool. What can I get you, you little fart? Hmm. You got something else in mind? Do you want to do that? Or do I want to save my points and upgrade my own gauntlets by a lot? You know what? Here. We've been using his bow a lot more. What do we have for this? Okay. I don't think anything he has is gonna... Oh. Uh. 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 Sorry. Healing items. Yes. Okay, look. None of these are purple. They're not gonna beat out what I currently have, especially not in stats, but... Boy, oh boy. High perk activation chance to grant a health burst on any successful precision throw. I get a lot of those off. To next. Successful axe kills grant a health burst. I also get a ton of those. And it looks like that's a 100% guarantee as well. Whereas this one isn't completely guaranteed, it's just very often, but you can get a... You can get like... 4 to 10 to 15 precision throws off of one enemy alone, depending on how much health they have, so... That's a lot of chances to get a lot of health back. And a lot of times I'm kind of, when I am just spamming my health thing, sometimes it's because I'm on the defense. Especially if I got hit a whole bunch and I'm really hurting or the enemy just has a lot of damage. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll just be stingy. Anything for me to sell? We have this ornate cup. Enjoy. Good to see you sweating the details. Now, about that other thing. Okay. Let's see what we can get at level 4. Light arrows inflict a massive stun damage to the enemies. Good. What about these? These are the final levels of the bow. That makes me sad. Massively increases arrow damage and melee damage. Massively increases the talent bow's firing rate. Yeah, sure. We max out our expert combat. We still have a ways to go for his magic combat. Here, I'm gonna grab Guardian's Revenge. Extra ways for me to fight enemies while I'm barehanded, which also gives me more of a chance to leave my axe behind for fighting enemies. What is Guardian Justice? While barehanded, hold R2 to perform a shield slam and inflict a moderate amount of stun damage. So that's if I want to, like, stun an entire group, or, like, blast back an entire group.
which is okay. These attacks are all good. I just like my axe. Why can't they have a hell of a lot more axe abilities? Look, I'll do this. So I can sprint at me and do that. I, for absolute 100% sure, probably won't grab the evade abilities. Just don't use evade attacks. Every single God of War game, I just haven't used them. Okay, thought I could break that. I'll get you, bird. Don't you worry. Wow. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I was probably gonna say. It's a mountain, dude. What the hell do you mean? Ooh. I'm glad he can sometimes shoot his arrows through walls. Out of the way, Wood. I have a chest to loot. At least I'm assuming this takes us over here. Ooh. Is this a multitasking thing? Ooh, hello. This might have been the correct path for me to go anyways. Okay. More traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. Okay. Hey now. Could have stayed behind and kept kept an eye on us a little bit. Yeah, alright. This is the correct way to go. Head on off, Atreus. I'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. I was like, okay. how am I supposed to get through here? Of course. And then I noticed the, the back row spikes were going back. Oh. While the front row spikes were going back forward. Oh. It's all a matter of just running around. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I, I guess I just didn't hold it down long enough. I thought I parried. Whoops. What the fuck is that down there? Is that a worm? Looks kind of heavy. I can move it. Aww. It looks like an axolotl mixed with a worm. Hold on, I gotta freeze it. You little pest. It's not attacking us. Yet. What the hell? Oh, I figured that was what I was gonna do. Like if it's not attacking us, is it like a loot enemy? Those enemies are just like annoying to deal with and they're never actually attacking you. You just gotta kill them super fast or else you don't get the reward. What happened to him? He died. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, it probably couldn't get out. It probably starved when everybody left. Or, you know, maybe the dwarves had it and it things collapsed on the dwarf. Everything. I mean, we could light this area up, but I don't think it did anything for us. Unless I can knock that down. No. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> that Eye of Odin was particularly hidden, although maybe I would have 
Yeah, it looks like I would have gone up there anyways. So I would have had a much more clear shot. Well, again, boy, if mom was here, we wouldn't be climbing the mountain. Okay. So I guess I need to move this forward. Let's light this up. And then we can access this area back here. Oh. And we're stuck. Cards don't tax them. I see that. There. Ah! Let's go! Those were huge! The fuck? <laughs> we have some prehistoric, like, sea creatures just chilling out behind some rocks or something. Whoops. That was weird. I let go of the analog stick as soon as I saw the ledge and the game just kept going. I guess we had we, we had to lock into the next spot. Maybe there's a way through that big gate up there? Okay. <laughs> I forgot. I, I knocked the spikes back. Okay, boy. You stay down there, because you're just much too short. I'll figure things out. Is he climbing up? Oh. Oh, good for him. He's not always too short to be able to reach things. Oh. I got a lot of this side down, too. Hello? Any enemies? We can go completely around the gate. Look! Another lantern! Broken. Leave it. What could they be for? There's something special about them. I can feel it. I'm not fully sure, but I hear something. Can I open the gate? It's working. Ah. I don't know if I have to like rush back. It doesn't look like it's closing, at least not yet, so that's good. How do I get up there? Mmm, that's a lot of Draugr sitting around one area. I'm making a bet that one is real. Uh-huh. The one to the right over here? Not as real. I wanted to do a heavy hex slam into his stomach, but it didn't work out. I wish I could knock that down without grabbing onto it. With two weapons, they like to combo their attacks, but we can disrupt their flow by parrying their attacks. Yeah, but if I fail to parry their first attack, I kind of get stuck guarding. Which is a nuisance. Why, hello there, friend. Now that I've killed your dual-wielding buddy, we can deal with you two. Whoops, sorry. I'm looking at skills. So let's see. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any barehanded attack. I think that makes me pull out my shield, right? That actually was kind of neat. I'm going to mix it up. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at all these and I'm trying to think like, which ones would I actually want to use? If it is not useful, leave it alone. I know. Oh, no. 
Punch, wait, and... I'm not really sure how this thing works. Because it looks like if I'm just spamming R1, I pull out my shield anyways. So the shield... The stance changing... is not... that. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell it means by that. Switch stance by pausing momentarily after any barehanded attacks. Once in a new stance, press R1 to perform a powerful uppercut. Press R1 again to perform a follow-up slam attack. So, obviously... Aha! Shut up, kid. Alright, I'm practicing attacks. So, it's a lot more clear there. Alright. I have to wait for like a solid second. Can I do it while moving still? No. Okay, so moving is what cancelled it out. So I had to pause. Legitimately, don't move at all and I will get a new attack. Cool. There. This will satisfy the people who <laughs> have probably been like, Oh, you have so many skill points, just buy it even if you're not gonna use it, man. There. Okay. I don't know how many times I'm gonna use any of these moves, but fine, we've got them. Oh boy. A scaled waste guard focus. Kiddo. You get it. There's nothing really else for us to do here besides grab loot and stuff. The loot is important. So of course I need to keep an eye out. And plus there's- isn't there like a whole thing right down here? I see a chest inside of that. How do I get in there? These lights are getting pretty bright. Aha! A hole in the ceiling. I wish mom were here. He said that again. Your idle chat <laughs> is disappointing me, kiddo. Let's get this out of here. Atreus to me. I think I stopped it here and just go to the other side. Whoops. No, 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 no. I'm trying to climb. I see what's up ahead. These are like cockroaches, but they're not. I don't I don't even remember the like the name of the actual creatures. They're like shellfish? Shellfish are that's the wrong name, right? Yeah, shellfish are like oysters. Okay. Someone's a cast of spectral falcons that dive into the ground. Ooh. Oh. That's neat. It does a lot of runic damage. But I want, I kind of, I want just damage and stun. That's what I could have spent my XP on. I could have upgraded my my summon for the wolves, because these have been helpful. When I'm like in a real big bind with some tough enemies, I just summon those and then just sit in the back Where's pelting away. Well, they can do the work for me. Looks heavy, kid, I can handle it. No way. Come on, Kratos! Put your back into it! You did it! I think we can make the rope wheel work now. Why give us the way to the top? Good. Keep an eye out. We might have attracted attention with all that noise. Hmm. 
Is there something beyond here? I eh, know we've seen it. Oh no! Here, time to summon those wolves. We might be able to get get the stun off here. So that's what I'm trying to do. Look how much stun our kids getting off here. Ha ha! Is this gonna allow us to just instant kill him? No, it's just gonna get a lot of attack damage in. That's uh, fine. Okay. Whoops, looks like I got stun damage on you again! You're not living it this time. There, we have vanquished the mountain troll. <laughs> that was annoying. Ooh, they exploded. Okay, we gotta do Spartan Rage. Back to the wheel. <laughs> Fucking exploding enemies. What is this? River of Knives. It is a destructive attack that sends out a line of ice shards that inflict frost damage and launch enemies into the air upon contact. What is that? That's okay, I guess. It's a line attack that does pretty much everything. Damage, frost, stun. And so you can get it up to probably four damage, three frost, three stun, which is a pretty good split. But I guess I'm just an asshole. I only like area. I <laughs> like big area attacks. Especially ones that freeze. The, the, this thing kind of screwed me over once. I'm not a fan of it. Oh. Sweet. An impossible material that houses the rage of fire and the tempo of ice. Good. I can upgrade my axe. Do I want to go backwards and immediately upgrade my axe? The shop's pretty close. Hmm. You don't have to leave. I'm sure we can figure this out. We're not leaving, boy. We're just taking a minor detour to upgrade my my axe. Right? I think it's a minor detour. <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a it's a detour of like a couple of minutes. Is it's gonna? Now where do we go from here? It's gonna turn out that. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Okay, I just went the wrong way entirely. I thought I could navigate it myself. I thought it was behind us. I was wrong. Wow, this is slow. Kratos! What happened to our ability to, like, speed the hell up when we're climbing things? It's because we have Atreus on our back. We have to be careful for him. I just completely forgot that I guess the shop is over here. <laughs> 